Hello scholars, Miss Alexander here to help you solve multi-digit division equations using the area model. So, let's envision that Miss Alexander is throwing a party. And for that party, she has 112 ice cubes total. So I am going to write 112 ice cube total. And each drink needs three ice cubes. So I know I'm dividing 112 ice cubes by three to find how many drinks I can make at the party total. So I'm going to draw my ice cube tray. Ooh, hold on. My ice cube tray. Envision an ice cube tray like this. It's a rectangle. Since each drink is getting three ice cubes each, I can just imagine a rectangle with the width of three ice cubes. So, I can draw that right here. Here is my ice cube tray. And the ice cube tray has a width of three ice cubes. I don't know the length of this rectangle, but I do know the area of this rectangle. The area is 112 ice cubes. So to find the length, I'm going to ask myself, what is a multiple of three that is close to, but not more than 112? First, I might say I want to use 10 because 10 as my length, because 10 times three equals 30. 30 might be a good multiple of three, but we're in fourth grade and we are really good at using our zero trick to do multiplication facts using our basic facts. So let's choose something bigger. I'm going to choose 60 as this area. So I am going to make this length 20 because I know to find this area 20 times three equals 60. And then I'm going to break off just this section. I know the area of just this section is 60 because it's three times 20. I'm going to subtract 60 from my total of 112. 11 minus six is five to get 52 ice cubes still left over. I'm going to bring over my leftovers to this remaining area over here and ask myself the same question. What is a multiple of three that is close to, but not more than 52? I can't use 60 again because 60 is more than 52. So this time I'm going to make a rectangle with an area of 10 by three to make 30. So the area of just this section is 30 ice cubes. I am going to subtract 30 ice cubes from 52 to give myself 22 ice cubes still left over. Now I'm going to bring over the 22 leftovers to my new section right here. I ask myself what's a multiple of three that's close to but not more than 22. That's pretty easy because seven times three is 21 and that's a basic fact. And 21 is pretty darn close to 22. So I'm going to make this length seven ice cubes across. Seven times three is 21. 21 is my area of just this section. And that gives me one. I look at this one, I say, I can't make a group of three with one because one is less than three. So this one ice cube is left over. I'm going to draw it over here and we call that our remainder. So I'm just going to write R1 right there for remainder one. Now, we're not done because now that we've calculated the sectional lengths of every single one of these small rectangles, we need to add them together to find the length of my whole rectangle. That will be the answer to 112 divided by three. So 20 plus 10 is 30 plus another seven is 37. So I know that the length of my ice cube tray is 37. That means that 112 ice cubes divided by three ice cubes per drink gives me 
37 ice cubes with one leftover, or 37 remainder one. To help you out even more, I've drawn this to scale. These models will never be perfectly to scale because we would drive ourselves crazy and that would take too long. But here is what 112 divided by seven looks like to scale using the area model. You can see that I have my length of three ice cubes. And then across in my first section, I have 20. The area of that entire section is 60 ice cubes. I have 60 little boxes here. My next section is 10 by three. So that's a total area of whoop, 30. And my last section, I have three ice cubes as my length and seven ice cubes as my width to make 21 ice cubes total. So I know I add up 20 plus 10 plus seven to find out how many ice cubes I have across, which will be my answer to 112 divided by three. All right, scholars and families, I hope that helps so that you can help your kids solve division equations using the area model at home. Thanks for watching. Bye.